Historians are trained to be really good at elections, diplomatic correspondence, um, battles, uh, strategy, finances. Someone like me, not trained as a historian, but trained as a literary scholar, is good at ferreting out the secret meanings of poems. And in my other life as a flutist and as a musicologist, uh, thinking about the task of the composer and how composers express things. So in a way, what I've discovered about Anne and what I have brought to the table comes from my own training. I've had to work hard to do a respectable job on the standard history side. Uh, but my great hope for this book is that it will suggest to historians in other periods and other countries and other cultures that the arts are a critical form of historical evidence. Do you want to know how people felt who lived through, say, the Thirty Years' War in which a third of the population of Europe died? If you want to know what they were feeling, you need to read poetry and you need to, to look at paintings. A series like Rubens's paintings on the horrors of war um, tells you so much more about what it felt like to live through that than any political or diplomatic record can. I have tried, as I always do, to see things whole. I've tried to see the whole picture. So while my particular approach, as indicated by the subtitle, has to do with the arts. I've tried to be attentive to the emotional side of Anne's life, which was very sad. She had 18 pregnancies and no children surviving infancy but one who died at 11, to whom she was devoted. She quarreled bitterly with her sister. Uh, the death of her husband was a terrible blow. Her long and complicated relationship with Sarah Duchess of Marlborough came to a very sad end. All of these things are part of her life. Uh, and again, if you are coming at any one episode, any one decision that Anne had to make as queen, you have to step back and ask yourself, was there a personal dimension to this? How did she understand the political dimensions, right? Um, what was her concept of queenship? Uh, I see her as having mounted a pretty vigorous defense of the prerogatives of the crown in an era of intense and at times vicious partisan politics. There were five contested elections during her reign. Uh, how did she feel about those? And again, I think we get little insights into how she felt by seeing who gets chosen to write the poem for the annual birthday ode and who sets it to music.